There is some conflicting information on what sports and when these sports were started at Monrovia High School, but the first high school gym was in the basement of the 1912 building. The wall was out of bounds in the basement, but some reports include the ball being played off the wall. Max Green reported that at one end, players had to stand in the hallway to throw the ball in. Alumni Gary Judson stated that the gym was later turned into a student area that included a jukebox and concessions. Ira Hinshaw had stated in his memories about Monrovia basketball, found in the sesquicentennial, that street lights were hung from the rafters to give players light to play by. The basement was used until the community building was built in 1922. The old gym was dedicated on October 5, 1922 and was officially called the Community Building. It was dedicated to the veterans of the area. A program for the dedication of the building was found in our high school gym lobby trophy case when students were reorganizing it. It was instrumental in helping the Alumni Association and APUS history students find veterans for the plaque that is currently found in the auditorium. The gym dedication was such a big event, the Dean of Purdue spoke. This photo was donated to the History Department by Gary Judson. The building had two rooms in the front which had been used for various things over the years, including the post office, barber shop, band storage, and according to Ed Ullman Jr., kindergarten. In this photo, Ed Ullman Insurance is using one of the spaces. To the left is a concrete marker dedicated to the Monrovia community members that died in World War I. After the building burnt, the marker was moved by the festival building. The Lions Club cleared the area after the fire and found a mason jar with a list of names of all the Monrovia community members that had fought in the Civil War and World War I. A copy of that list was found by Steve Reeder in the Martinsville Library and is currently archived at Monrovia High School. This is the marker that was in the old gym with the names listed of the Gold Star recipients. The names include John Zook, Frank Suit, Orville Dillon, and Irvin Meredith. The Minervia American Legion would be named after Frank Sue and Orville Dillon, which originally met in the old gym until it moved to Latta Edition in 1970. John Zook was a Marine in the famed 2nd Division that was referred to as the Red Devils by the German soldiers due to their aggressive fighting. John Zook died in October in the last battle of World War I at the Meuse Argonne, less than one month before the armistice. In total, the Monrovia community had 90 veterans from the Great War. This is the earliest photo from inside the gym. It is found in the 1923 yearbook, which is the earliest one Monrovia High School has, according to Virginia Jett. This is one of the earliest action shots of basketball the Monrovia Association has. It was dropped off in a box of photos from 1945. The player wearing number six is Billy Mac Fisher, class of 1947. Bill Fisher was the first principal of the current Monrovia High School and Monroe Gregg School District's second superintendent. He is also a member of the Alumni Hall of Fame and Monrovia Athletic Hall of Fame. This is the first known photo of the current high school gym, which was built in 1967 and is still in use. The photo comes from the program for the opening of the high school. The program was donated by Rocky and Christy Carter and was Rose Carter's. This photo was taken the night of the gym dedication to Branch McCracken in 1971. Bobby Slick Leonard can be seen in the front row. The photo was donated by Rocky and Christy Carter. The night the gym was dedicated to Branch McCracken, former Indiana Hoosier and Pacer coach Bobby Slick Leonard attended and signed this program. The autographed program is currently in the gym lobby display case and was donated by Brett Fisher. Thanks for watching. This has been a Monrovia Moment brought to you by Faith Nagel.